Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Are you looking for a new phone? Majority of the times when picking a new phone, you would only think of two things, the ecosystem and the camera. People will always pick iPhones because of the ecosystem. A lot of apps, premium services, and iMessages. And other guys will go to Android devices like Huawei, Google Pixel, and Samsung because of their camera. Quad camera setup, 8K recording, and 100 times zoom. Who uses that? That's creepy. But did you ever consider the screen display when choosing the right phone for you? Remember, 100% of the time, you will always look on the screen when using it. So I think we need to consider the screen when buying a phone. If you're interested in knowing this type of information, let Gadget Rev now help you decide. LED and LCD display. What's the difference? Hey, don't forget to subscribe, my friend. Let's go! Let's start with the LED screen. What are the advantages? First, it requires far less energy. You would see phone manufacturers saying going dark mode saves battery. That's true, because LED display only turns on every single diode when needed. So if the color is black, it simply turns off the diode and no energy is being used. The second advantage is better control of light, which can make a noticeable difference when displaying a darker image on a video. Have you ever heard of the term screen bleeding? It is the noticeable harsh light on the side due to LCD illuminating the screen. LED screen doesn't have that because each diodes fires up individual pixel and turn off when not needed. The third advantage is the pure black color. It is possible on LED display because the pixel can be turned off. So the screen is not creating a color black. The screen just turns off the pixel and it turns black. So it's pure dark black. Our fourth advantage is the high peak brightness. LED screen manufacturing are getting better and better over time and you will now see the newer Samsung or iPhone have brighter screen. 1200 to 1500 nits of max brightness. It is possible thanks to the LED technology. You have a punchier, more saturated looking screen cause LED can just crank up the brightness and make the color pop. And our last advantage is the size. It is lightweight and thin. Have you seen monitors and televisions go thinner now? A lot of them are LED TVs and monitors. Because of the technology, it allows slimmer and more compact monitors and screen. Same story with the phone. You will see slimmer phones now, more especially the flagship ones, because of the screen technology, almost all of them are using OLED screen. And the disadvantage of an LED screen is, it's expensive. Since the manufacturing costs of these LED aren't cheap, phone vendors would also need to raise the prices of their phones. That's why flagship phones with LED screen are always expensive. Now let's go to the other side of the table, the LCD displays. What are the advantages? The first advantage is it is cheaper to manufacture. Normally, budget phone manufacturers will install cheaper LCD screen on budget phones. This cuts the phone cost and they will be able to sell it at a more affordable price. So if you're looking for the cheapest phone, you would always get an LCD display. Our second advantage is better display in direct sunlight. While it is true that LED has high peak brightness, if you just want brute force in brightness, since the LED display lights up the whole panel, it is usually brighter than LED screen. Remember the older iPhones, the iPhone 4S to iPhone 8? They have brighter screen because they actually have the cheaper LCD display. Our third advantage is it is easy to find and replace. This screen technology is everywhere. You can find it on almost all used smartphones, computer displays, and tablets. In case of repair or replacement, you can almost see replacement parts everywhere and it's pretty affordable too. Now the flip side. The first disadvantage is it is bulkier and heavier. Like the old television and monitors, LCD display is bulkier and heavier than LED screen. So you would get a bigger and heavier phone. 
It is not bad to be honest, but it's something that adds up to the disadvantage. Our second disadvantage is screen burns or image retention. LCD display are susceptible to screen burns. You will see ghosting on the screen from the previous image it showed. Maybe the most notable thing that are affected are the in-display navigation buttons. And the last disadvantage is the shorter battery life. LCD screens are less energy efficient, so you will have a shorter battery life for your phone. Again, when you open your phone, it will light up the whole display and it will eat up the battery. Phone manufacturer try to compensate by installing bigger battery, but that would also add up to the heaviness and bulkiness of the phone. So what is our takeaway from this video? What an awesome generation to live as we now have touchscreen phones. It is way easier for us to navigate and touchscreen means more screen real estate. Just remember when buying a phone, it depends on what you need. But you also have to consider the screen technology as you're always looking directly on the screen. The majority of the phone experience is what you see on the display. If you're buying a phone with an LED display, you get dark mode that saves more battery, no screen bleeding on the edges, you got a nice deep blacks, you can always turn on the always on feature, and generally more punchier color reproduction. Well, if you choose a phone with an LCD display, it is generally better in direct sunlight, and since it's cheaper to manufacture, the phone might be more affordable too. And in the end, whatever you choose, just enjoy it. Both are great display technology we have these days. If you enjoy this video, consider subscribing. I will post daily videos of gadget reviews, comparisons, rumors, and leaks. The goal of this channel is to review and compare devices as simple as possible, concise, and friendly, and keeping you updated with the latest happenings around the tech world. Don't forget to drop your comment, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.